Hi, my name is Emil Pettersson and I'm the studio manager at Soundtrade Studios and a lecturer at SE Institute Stockholm. Today we're about to bring you a tutorial on vocal recording brought to you by Record Union and SE Institute Stockholm. Enjoy! So the first thing that we need to think about when we record vocals is how we place the microphone and of course which microphone we choose. We have lined up two microphones so we can listen to them both. We have a condenser microphone, a U87. It's a studio classic but there's uh, obviously cheaper ones. And then we have uh, probably the most famous microphone in the world, the SM58 from Shure. And that's a dynamic microphone. The most common way to place the mic towards the person who's singing is just straight ahead. So you align the height uh, towards the mouth of the singer. The problem with that is that you might get some sibilance. Sibilance is uh, high frequencies around uh, 5 to 8 kilohertz and uh, they can uh, really mess up uh, vocal recording if you have too much of them. Position the microphone a bit higher, um, sort of in the, in the height of the nose, and then I tip the microphone down so it points off axis towards the mouth. Uh, you should also keep in mind that uh, you need a pop shield when you record vocals, otherwise you might get some plosives. In terms of distance, we're talking about maybe 20, 30 centimeters away from the microphone. The closer you are to the microphone, the more uh, proximity you will get. So you get uh, some, uh, you get more low end, basically. If you move away from the microphone, you will get a more, a bigger sound and more room in your sound. So 20 to 30 centimeters, depending on the microphone, depending on the person who's singing, and of course, which type of sound you're after. Some microphones, such as the U87, have uh, different polar patterns. Uh, some of them, such as this one, have a fixed polar pattern and uh, it's a cardioid and that means that the microphone takes up sound in this direction. So it doesn't take up much uh, sound from behind. Now, the U87 is also set in cardioid at the moment, but it can be omni, then uh, it takes up sound from all, all around the microphone. And uh, there's also a polar pattern called figure of eight and that means it will take up sound from behind from the front, but not from the sides. But cardioid is the most common polar pattern to use if you're recording vocal. So after you have connected the microphone uh, and the cable to the microphone preamp, you want to set the gain on the microphone preamp. Now you want to hit the gain so when the signal reaches your DAW, you want to be at around minus 15 dB on your DAW at the strongest parts in the, uh, in the recording. For a condenser microphone you need to use phantom power, uh, otherwise the microphone won't work. Another thing to keep in mind is that uh, most, uh, most musicians like to have some reverb in their headphones and uh, maybe some compression as well. We're going to start with the U87, then we're going to record the SM58 and then we'll go back to the U87 and we'll record very close to the microphone and Philip, as he sings, will back away from the microphone so we can really hear what, what's going on when we mess with the distance. Sounds good? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so now we're going to start with recording the U87. This cold winter breeze seems to tear us apart Our love is growing still, but is it enough? Is this fortress we built strong enough to hold? You're like the moon and I am your tide So uh, let's move over to the SM58 This cold winter breeze seems to tear us apart Our love is growing still But is it enough? Is this fortress we build? Strong enough to hold your light to moon and I am your tide. Okay, so if we listen back to these tracks now and start with the U87, 
we're going to hear that uh, the vocals is uh, way more present and we have a, a lot of uh, natural transient response. It sounds very open and uh, we get a very clear and natu natural representation of uh, Philip's voice. This cold winter breeze seems to tear us apart. Our love is growing still, but is it enough? Is this fortress we built? So as you can hear, we have uh, a smooth and natural transient re response. We can hear the details in Philip's voice. And uh, it's just a good representation of, uh, of his voice. If we switch over to the SM58 instead and listen back to that, we're going to hear that uh, we won't have, uh, have the same transient response. It, it's going to feel a bit slower uh, in articulation, for example. Breathing between words and stuff won't be as present as in the previous recording. This cold winter breeze seemed to tear us apart. Our love is growing still. But is it enough? Is this fortress we built strong enough to hold? So it's still a good recording, but uh, we can hear some uh, obvious differences between uh, the SM58 and the U87. Now obviously you can uh, make great recordings with either a dynamic microphone or a condenser microphone, but uh, at least now you have an idea of the differences between them. So we're going to go back to the U87 and record that, uh, but now we're going to do so with Philip moving around. So he's going to start off by uh, being really close to the microphone and we're going to hear a lot of proximity, uh, a lot of low end from his voice. And while he's singing, he's going to back away from the microphone and uh, we'll lose that proximity, we'll lose that low end, but we'll also get a lot of more room sound in the recording. This cold winter breeze seems to tear us apart. Our love is growing still, but is it enough? Is this fortress we built strong enough to hold? You like to move. This cold winter breeze seems to tear us apart. Our love is growing still, but is it enough? Is this fortress we built strong enough to hold? So to sum it up, you will need to choose a microphone that fits the recording, a dynamic or a condenser, mic placement 20 to 30 centimeters away from the singer, position the microphone a bit off axis, Gain staging in the microphone preamp, you want to hit at about minus 15 dB in your door. And uh, use some reverb and compression so the musician feels more confident. So that sums it up for today. Uh, make sure to follow Record Union so you don't miss the other episodes. And uh, happy recording!